So, Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? Yeah, Leroy Sané. He's one of the most fleet-footed players around, Peter, and a massive threat with the ball at his feet. He knows where the goal is too, and his finishing is both precise and very effective. He's going to add a real dynamism to this forward line, either looking for the through ball on the counter or taking on his man and, and going on his own. Yeah, he'll be looking for a goal or two. There's the whistle. Kimmich. Gnabry. Ginter. Kimmich. Tony Kroos. Kimmich. Gnabry. Sade. Sigurdsson tries to get it forward quickly. Kimmich has a goal! It's there! It's hardly a surprise, is it? That's what we're here for, a player with this wonderful knack of being able to show up and deliver at important times. Yet, yet another example. Oh, high-quality goal, lovely first touch, sumptuous second. Germany grab an early lead. Good start. Sig Torsen pushes to get on the end of it. Rudiger. Rudiger drives it forward. Werner. And here's Canabri. Real chance! They've played it short. Beautifully done. He's had a shot! Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. Hoists it forward. And it's Sané. Sane goes hurtling down that left-hand side. Tony Kroos. Germany are seeing a lot of the ball and have a 1-0 lead to show for it. And it's played forward. Now a chance to break. Iceland have made it clear what they're trying to do for me, Peter. What are they trying to do? Well, I think they're making the pitch as big as possible to work both flanks into, into better supply routes. He has it out wide now. Oh, sweet feet. So who's he picking out? Sigurdsson. Iceland have a free kick. Sigurdsson! And that has been cleared. Well, that's a foul. Simple decision for the referee. And it's Canabri. 
Kimmich has created one goal already. Hits one! He has done it! And this is getting better and better. Oh, what a cracking goal, but a cracking touch as well. That's what made it for me. That's brilliant play all round. Germany get themselves a two-goal cushion. That second goal is such a, a polarizing effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal, and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. And here's Sig Torsen. Yeah, that's top defending in preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Werner. Out to the left it goes. Pumps it into the air. He's had a goal! They are rampant! All too easy! They are in danger of disappearing out of sight! That was easy, almost too easy. That's just a great finish, but it's down to very clever movement. You can see this has been obviously worked on on the training ground. He knew exactly where he wanted the ball, and it all came good. He snaffles his third, and that earns him the match ball. Oh, he's been unstoppable in this match. Every single time he's been in possession, he's looked a threat. Germany take a three-goal lead, and they are romping out of sight. Well, unsurprisingly, Peter, the opposition look completely stunned. I'm not sure they can gather themselves. And here's Sané. Kimmich. Kroos. Is there any support? He might not need it. And there is the half-time whistle. Well, there's plenty that can be said about the last 45 minutes, but one thing that cannot be said is that it's dull. One-sided, yes, but packed with excitement. This looks well and truly sewn up already, Peter, but please feel free to forget what I've just said if there's a spectacular turnaround. Germany, three goals to the good after a really excellent first half that's been intriguing to watch. Plenty of highlights to show you during the break. We're promptly into the second 45 minutes. And a header! Back of the net! Results no longer in doubt. It's just about how many. Sane duly reaps his reward, kept his call cool whilst the defence lost their bearings. Well, as they say, Peter, if you don't speculate, you won't accumulate. And we've just witnessed a player who was rewarded for his willingness to take a risk, as cunning as it comes. Things looking so easy, almost too easy here. Dick Torsen desperately wants to get on the end of this. Goodmanson gets into some space. It's gone out for a throw-in. Tony Kroos.
Kroos very firm in standing his ground there. It is a tough full contact contest. Well, no doubt someone is being given special treatment here. Well, he helps himself to a treble, Peter, and then they switch. Gnabry! An absolute thunderbolt! Sumptuous finish, an absolute joy! Well, just another one to add to what has already been an incredible haul. Listen, when you're on an invitation to improve your goal difference, why he's off. Iceland are able now to make their substitution. It's been on the cards for uh, a few moments now. Germany totally rampant here. Well, it's been a, an absolutely fabulous spell for them, and they're starting to look unstoppable. There could be more on the way. Forward it goes. Gets into a dangerous position. Regardless of the outcome, it is... Oh, that's a foul. Free kick's been given. Schula. Rudiger. Rudiger plays it forward. Ginter. And it's Canabri. And it's got through. Going through. Canabri. Time to deliver. That is terrific skill. And the ball's come out. And it's played forward. And that's the end of that. It all started well enough. Here it comes. Plenty waiting in the middle. Turns and goes back. Over to the left. Breaks on here. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Oh, what a ball! That's just an example of overcommitting, and they're fortunate for the quality of the intervention. It was vital. And back to base. No, the ball needed to be better there. It's a wasted chance. He's got options in the box if he gets his head up. Shot and the shot! No, it's wide.
Ginter. Gnabry, who's goal scoring. And the referee brings it to a close. Germany, winners of a no contest. They just swamped their opponents in superior quality. So what do you take away from it all, Jim? Germany simply made their superior.